What's up, everybody? It's Johnny Brown, here with Haunt Scene. It is uh, Thursday. It's uh, early for us. It's it's five o'clock. Five o'clock somewhere. And uh, I'm your host, Johnny Bronto. With me, as always, my amazing, lovely, beautiful Melissa Lukak. Hi, everyone. From Hello. Haunt Scene. All right, so what we're going to talk about today, just real quick, we're not going to take up a lot of your time, but there was an update to the speculation map from Horde Night Nightmares, so thank you, Mark, for that. And uh, we're going to go and uh, take a look at this stuff. So if you guys have any comments or any questions or any opinions, uh, please put that in the chat or the comments, and then we'll, uh, we'll, we'll keep an eye on that. Yeah, let us know. Yeah. So are you ready? Oh, I've been ready. You were ready? I've been more okay. than ready. Now, keep in mind, yes. um, there's only been like two official announcements, the Beetlejuice announcement and the Puppet Theater announcement. Those are like the only official announcements right yeah. now. But let's go ahead and let's go through the newly released... Oh, what's that? We don't need that. <laughs> Jeez, John. <laughs> oh, my God. The newly released... Okay, Halloween this is brand Hornets. new. Okay. Hot off the press. Sweet. Hopefully you've seen this. Everything looks pretty much still the same. Uh, except uh, Creep Show's got uh, or Cu Halloween couple, 3 there. A couple things. Well, we're going to go through house by house. Okay. And we're going to we're gonna talk about everything okay. here. Now, we will do an official Halloween Horror Nights preview uh, when he gets a little bit closer to the season. Uh, but we're going to go through and uh, talk about these right now as far as the speculation goes here version 2.0 so uh if you follow h uh, horror night nightmares on twitter or if you go to horror night nightmares on on facebook or whatever you can get your own copy of this map right here there's mark mark master is in the chat he's he's blessing us with his presence now so that's going to be the big point of contention but we'll talk about that a little bit later okay so bride of frankenstein um uh, i don't think it's a big surprise coming back here yeah. although this house was absolutely amazing for hhn light last year and I am super duper excited about seeing it not have plexiglass. Yes, me too. No plexiglass too. this I year. I mean, it was a great house either way, but I am i couldn't wait for the plexiglass to go away because it makes up the house sometimes. Yeah. Without the glass. So we'll, we'll talk about the HHN light <laughs> one. So Bride of Frankenstein, amazing house. Can't wait to see that again. Uh, of course, uh, Re Revenge of the Tooth Fairy again. Re Revenge of, of the Tooth Fairy again yep. with no, no plexiglass. No glass. Yep. No glass. And uh, that house was really cool. I feel as though these houses, even though they were really good to walk through during the day, I think these houses are going to be like twice as good without mm -hmm. when they're going like full force. And I would imagine there will probably be some some small tweaks, maybe some uh, things that they originally wanted to do but couldn't do. Uh, we'll uh, we're really excited about that. Uh, Beetlejuice, you get a chance to do Beetlejuice. I did right? not get a chance to do Beetlejuice. What? Sadly, no. So it, it it ran for the one and two nights that it ran. Unfortunately, I couldn't make it. Yeah. So we were, but, we were we yeah, were yeah. I was kind of upset about. You, did you go? No. No. You this didn't make was it this was at the end of our haunt season. Yeah. And we. Had had done 30 haunts last year all over the country and yeah. we were a little tired and i kicked myself for not but i was pretty I know, confident too, yeah. that it was coming back so yeah i was yeah i was really happy to see that it was yeah. gonna make a comeback hey sure. sarah smotherman's in here what's up sarah from uh from um from the tooth fairy house was so tooth are you gonna house. be back in the tooth fairy house sarah let me know yeah so we got everybody mm -hmm. here we got we're on several different platforms right now Mark didn't do uh, Mark Beetlejuice didn't do either. Beetlejuice either. There, so, was, there was a few people who didn't get a chance to do it. Uh, some lucky ones who from did. From what I saw, it was amazing. So, I have not spoiled myself but on it. I have spoiled. What? I, I caved and I watched the YouTube video Why? because I just couldn't take it anymore. I had to see it. And I just couldn't wait wait a year to see it. I had to watch it. Okay. It's awesome. But, of I, course, it doesn't do justice know, by actually being there. I, I want to just go into the house fresh. Yeah. But I, I had to get it off my chest. But okay. I know it's going to be even better seeing it in person. So oh, okay. it's worth so the wait. I'm really excited. It's yeah. probably one of my top ones I'm really excited for this year. Yeah. Um, we're going to bounce around a little bit. Let's talk about Text Chainsaw Massacre. Yeah. Now, I don't know what this is going to be. I don't know if this is going to be... The original, so they, like they, beginning. they had that a couple of years ago. That was like the original one. They've um, had it twice, right? They had they had it in twenty. They had two thousand seven, 
And then they had it a few years ago. Yeah, I've only seen the one, the yeah. one that like our, our, our Kira yeah. like stumbled through. Yes. <laughs> yes, she was. We uh, Kira, the the, mm-hmm. the 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 my fellow ginger on our team, I guess was that girl one night in that house. So that's pretty funny. But if you, if you know anything about the um, if you know anything about the year or what they're gonna do with Texas Chainsaw Massacre or what you'd like them to do, uh, put that in the chat. This could be one of those like legacy like repeat houses yeah. kind of like they did like American Werewolf in London mm-hmm. maybe you know bringing that back that could be kind of yeah. neat I mean I don't mind it I mean the text Chainsaw Massacre houses were awesome so I mean yeah. they were true to the movie it was like you're walking through the movie yeah, even, which was pretty cool even if you <clears throat> I'm of the opinion of even if you don't like something on the map like if you're even kind of like eh about it even even the mm-hmm. lowest interest house the one you're not interested in is still cool to walk through exactly. so, they, so they still deserve some love yeah so that'll be neat. Um, we got Haunting at Hill House. Let's yes. talk about the IPs. Um, I, Haunting Hill House is amazing. I've been so ready for that It's house. been a couple years yeah. since it came out. Yep. Um, I think between now and then I'll probably revisit the series. Um, I can imagine a lot of like static uh, ghosts yes. like, in the background, yes. you know? Pretty Which, cool. I mean, if you guys watch that show, like going through that house is going to be amazing, though. Like if if they do it well... It's going to be amazing. Yes. Yeah. I mean, you know, I've got the bent neck lady. Yeah. You'll see the spiral staircase, the probably hanging right yep. there. Yep. The ghost. There's so many the good scenes to incorporate in that house. Yeah, and like I, have, I have to rewatch it too. The funeral home. Yeah. I mean, yeah. it, it's a, I think, I think people are sleeping on this one a little bit just because it's been a while. Yeah. Um, and then. But, uh, yeah. That and, doesn't mean it won't be a good house though. And, and, and I'm curious to see if there will be any maybe Bly Manor Easter eggs in there so. a little bit. Maybe one year. I mean, maybe next year or the year after Bly Manor will finally come. Yeah, I don't know about that. No. I, I don't know. I don't know if the I don't know if the time frame will line up with that. Yeah. So, but yeah. I love you. I love you too. Okay. All right. <laughs> Uh, and then we've got uh, anything else? Okay, let's talk about the the main thing here. The main point of controversy today is the big update on the map was the Creep Show update. Now we're seeing Halloween Three: Season of the Witch, and uh, this one I believe was confirmed for uh, California, uh, but now it seems like we're getting the either or option here in uh, in in the Shrek Theater, I believe, and uh, and I think we're we're of differing opinions on this because you want Creep Show. I want Creep Show. Yes, yes. Not 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 to bash on Halloween three or anything like that. Um, I was just you know, never never a fan of Halloween three, but I, I prefer Creep Show. But I would be okay with either one. Okay. See, I, I okay love Halloween three. I <laughs> yes. absolutely adore Halloween three. Yes. I think Halloween three's biggest crime was just ha- being a part of the Halloween series. If it would have been its own spinoff movie or Silver Shamrock or, or some other title or whatever, I think it would have been yeah. awesome. But the you know, from a visual standpoint, I know there are a lot of like um there are a lot of things you can look at in Creep Show. There are a lot of like, you know, visual cues and things and, and iconic stuff. But I can literally see the Halloween three house in my head. Yeah. So yeah. so and maybe we'll see. I don't know, maybe because I, I I did it at Hol- uh, Hollywood a few years ago and I really liked it. It was really cool and I thought it, you know it would it would be an awesome house to do here in Orlando yeah. as well. So I don't know, but you know, either way, I would be fine with either one. So yeah, so, if you whatever platform yeah. you're watching on, put in the comments or the yeah, chat. Yeah, which one do you prefer? Yeah, Creep which show one do you think? Halloween three. Because it looks like Let we got see. we've got a couple Halloween threes. We've got a couple creep shows. Shooter Mike from Kirby Farm is with you. So mm-hmm. uh, keep keep that conversation going. Um, I will be happy either way. Uh, I know there was a little bit of talk about uh, about a creep show scare zone. Looks like that one's off the map now. So yeah, that's what I was gonna say. So if it wasn't gonna be creep show, then right. was the scare zone gonna stay? And that looks like it's probably not it's yep. gonna stay. So. Uh, Puppet Theater. They did a little uh, preview of that uh, when I think it was like right after Horror Nights, or it was I think it was on Peacock. Yeah, or something it was like, like that. on a Peacock. Yeah. Uh, so it looked, streaming service. It looked pretty neat. Puppets and dolls tend to mess with me a little bit. Yeah. Same. Um, I imagine we'll get a couple puppets. We'll probably have the puppet from uh, from Dead Silence in there because yeah, usually no, makes an appearance you. in there. No, no, thank you. Uh, puppets pretty, are creepy. Pretty, like they had a pretty dollhouse cool. Damned. Like yeah, had dolls and yeah, stuff. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so that that one will be pretty neat if you have a fear of puppets. There's probably a phobia for puppets. If you if you want to look that up real quick, somebody Google that. Uh, but that one looks pretty neat. Uh, we've got the we've got Wicked Growth Realm of the Pumpkin. So not really sure. Yeah, a pumpkin house. 
But remember, there was the Nathaniel Crow lost icon a couple years ago that Mike Aiello had written. Yes. And every time there's pumpkin anything, I'm like, they're gonna they're gonna stick that character in there or something. So I, I don't know. But they've done a lot with pumpkins and that yeah. kind of aesthetic. Over they always do this, and they always do it well. That's one thing that Hornets does really well. The is anything pumpkins? Just they just knock so it out of the park. In, all the pumpkins that are usually in the trees in Central Park are just gonna be in this house. Probably. Probably. I mean, that's fine. <laughs> yeah. if they can just if they can just recreate that like Central Park like. Yeah. Yeah, house and yeah. walk through it. That's fine yeah. too. Uh, puppophobia, fear of puppets. Okay, all right, fair enough. Uh, so that one's going to be neat. I, I just love anything fall, pumpkin, Same. you know, a leaves, Halloween. that the whole like vintage aesthetic, yeah, you know. retro feel. Yeah. And and we've gotten other pumpkin things. You know, there's a pumpkin part of uh, of uh, Slaughter Cinema that came out yes. a couple of years ago. So there there are a lot of ways they could go with that one. Uh, I think that's going to be really really neat. Um, but they always do that like classic earthy yeah. Halloween stuff really yeah. well. So like Twisted Tradition. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Classic Halloween. Uh, moving on over here, bouncing around. Well, we got two left to talk about before we get to the scare zones. We got HHN icons captured, and then we've got Welcome to Scary. Scary, which and, uh, I'm really looking forward to because I love the Carrie Ohio references. Oops, that's not what we want. We so want, we want. And I'm assuming HHN Icons Captured is going to be like an anniversary type house, I'm assuming. Yeah, it could be. So yeah. hold on, hold on one second. I got to look at this. Uh, I got to look at this image. This one. There we go. Uh, Horror in the Heartland. Okay, so that's the subtitle of the uh, the Welcome to Carry Scary Ohio, yeah. which would be pretty cool. So it's, it's kind of interesting because a lot of the stuff is based out of carry that's like the, the fictional backdrop of Horror Nights mm -hmm. for a lot of the stories, but it's actually a real place in Ohio. Place. And Melissa and I have cool. been there. Yeah, it's pretty uh, neat. It's, yeah, it's uh, if you're a Horror Nights fan, you got you got to make a pilgrim a pilgrimage up to uh, Cary, Ohio. I keep I want to say Scary Ohio. Yes, yeah, Scary. But it's Ohio. a very it's a very it's just a little sleepy town in the it's northwest. It's a very quiet town, like very small town. You got a police station, a post office. Um, you got some stores and restaurants and, and houses, and that's about it. And they have there's really nothing to it. They have a gas station that has every flavor of cow tails yes. ever made. Yes, they do. And, I bought and they all have them. the Blue Devils, which is and hilarious. They, and they have yeah, they have, they the, have the, the Blue, Devils Blue Devils in everywhere in the windows. Yeah, it's a it's a um, yeah, the town. It's has a school. A, it's a it's their mascot. It's their mascot. Yeah. Which that is that cool. town has a lot of school spirit because yeah. it's Blue Devils everywhere, and they have an athletic shop where you can actually get like you can Cary, actually Ohio, buy Blue like Devil legit stuff. stuff. Yeah. But it was closed when we were there, which was really bummed. Yeah. Bum, bum me out. Um, so I would imagine maybe some uh, if this is a like an anniversary, maybe maybe revisiting kind some of stuff like a, from. You remember uh, Hollow's Past from yeah. 2010, yeah. the twentieth year? I, I'm assuming it's going to be something like it, that. Anything that has been set in Carrie, maybe it could be it could be a lot of things. It could be HR Blood and Gods. Yes, it could be HR uh, um, Dead End. It could leave be Leave the Cleaver. Yep, could be that mm -hmm. kind of stuff. So that would be meets. really cool. Yes. Um, so maybe <laughs> non-icon stuff because it seems like we're gonna have our own icon house. Yeah. Uh, but maybe maybe a greatest hits of things that have taken place in Carrie. Uh, could be Everything's kind of Shady Brook uh, spawning. Right. Um, Havoc right. derailed. All right. Uh, Car Carrie, Ohio is totally a real place. Carrie, Ohio is a real yeah. place. Yeah. We've when, been there. When I first heard about it, I didn't think it was real. I thought it was made up town for Halloween Horror Nights, but it yep. is real. It is, in fact, real. Yep. We've been there. We have, yep. we have, we have the signs and everything. We have pictures in front of yep. the sign and everything. It was we left really our cool. lanyard in the restaurant. We, I, I stole a handful of swag from the police department. <laughs> <laughs> you stole a handful of stickers. <laughs> Dude, no, I had pencils and, they had and other pencils stuff, too. And stuff. Yeah. Yes. Like they yes. Like, obviously, when you're in the Cary, Ohio police department, to them, it's nothing. Like, oh, it's, it's nothing. To us, it's yeah. like prizes. Like we were talking to them, like the police officers about Cary, Ohio, and about Horror Nights, and they knew nothing yeah, about it. Like it, nothing at all. It is very. It's <laughs> interesting how the actual Cary, Ohio residents don't really know much about how big of a deal it is down here. Um, but it, it's 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 our Hawkins, Indiana. You know, yeah, like it's our much, it's yeah. our. Yeah. You know, it's a, it's our fictional place to go and do these things. And, so and it makes me happy that it's an actual real place. Though, yeah, yeah, which it's is cool. pretty cool. Yeah, so so, so if you go there, mm -hmm. let us know. Uh, let's talk about the final house. This is going to be HHN icons captured, and this one's really interesting because in the logo you got Fear's Lantern right here. So um, deviously doomed. Uh, you know, made this right here, Fear's Lantern. I've got it plugged in so I can't pull it off the wall, but it actually has Fear's Lantern there, and Fear was the icon for Horror Nights 20 because it had the, the Roman numerals XX, mm -hmm. which is, I guess, if you were saying 
the icon for this year would be XXX. Halloween yes. Horror Nights, Triple X. Halloween Horror Nights, Triple X. But, now, uh, so Mark said Think Fear. Think Fear? For icons. That's what he said. Think Fear, fear for, for icons? icons. Yes. Okay. So so who are the icons captured by? Are they captured by Fear? Are they captured by Fear, fear themselves? Fear coming back and capturing the icons? Will every icon Is have like, its own scene? Capture them and then they eventually they release them? I, Is that it? I don't uh, know. Maybe, maybe something else captured them. Uh, Maybe. Who knows? We'll find out. I mean, maybe uh, who who knows? Uh, if you have any speculation, put that in the in the comments or chat, and uh, let us know what you think of the of the HHN icons captured. That one's like the most mysterious. That house. one is. It really it's is. It's like how are they going to do this? So really, really neat. A poltergeist clown puppet to this day messes with me. Uh, all right, all right. So <laughs> so I am curious. I don't think fear really got like a. I wouldn't say a fair shake, but but maybe maybe an updated version of fear, you know, mm. like fear 2.0, triple X, triple maybe it's a Vin Diesel triple X. I, I, don't, I don't know. <laughs> but uh, but uh, anything classic. I yeah. mean, obviously 2025, 20, you got the taste we, of all the yeah, stuff. Yeah, we because, got the Monsters of Mayhem, which was an awesome house. Yeah, because yeah. I, I I've only been going to Horror Nights since twenty. 2008 so i missed that heyday of all the icons so yeah. seeing them at 20 and 25 was really really cool and yeah. and i'm you know a lot of I, i've heard some people say oh we want new stuff or whatever but you know i, th I think I, if they I bring the them back days. every once yeah, in a while yeah i miss the old icons and stuff you know i luckily i got to see sweet 16 was my first i got to see 2010 i got to see 20 i got to see 25 now i got to see 30 so i got to see all the anniversary years which was awesome yeah so <clears throat> so that'll be That'll be a neat house. That's that's probably one of the ones I'm most looking forward to in carry. All the young whippersnappers. Hey, we got, Clint, we got we Clint. got Clint. What's up, Clint from Throw Geek? Geek? I'm What's surprised, up, buddy? I'm surprised he's not podcasting right now or, or broadcasting. Mm -hmm. You heard it here first, everybody. Yeah, I was like, the moment we get off of work, hey, I'm like, we got to go live. All right, so that's going to be the houses. So in the in the comments, whatever platform you're watching on, uh, in the chat or comments, depending on which, where you are, uh, put what you are most excited about put what you're most excited about uh clint is velocicostering right now so he's actually on velocicoaster he's As that dedicated speak, he's on the roller coaster talking to us right watching now haunt scene online. i really appreciate that clint <laughs> thanks Geek crew. Clint. we love it. throw geek please make sure you're following throw geek on all social media they do amazing theme park stuff including all the haunts and all that stuff and they're they're really good friends of ours so we got all kinds of awesome people in here okay so that is the that's the rundown of the houses right so let's talk about our scare zones here so we've got uh, some of these i have no idea like 30th anniversary 30th, zone that's that's yeah we, we know what that one is the anniversary huh? so, seek and destroy i was looking at well, that well, hold on hold on 30th anniversary zone i wonder if that's going to be like the one we had at 25 with like the, the icons and their scare zones and the photo ops and that kind of thing probably or or is it like a best of of the event in 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 total maybe Where is that going to be at the beginning uh, the beginning 30th of the park, anniversary. That's going to be K. So maybe that's going to be like the. Um, well, that was where an arcade, where was. arcade was, yeah. and that's where the. Um, I forget where they had like the little ones with poltergeist, like the little little platforms. Oh yes, that, that was 2017. Yes, yeah. yeah, yeah. So maybe that could be uh, something like that. They just have like a like a dedication kind photo like a welcoming. op, yeah, yeah, kind of thing. Okay, yeah, you know what? You're right. Based on where that's located. Uh, seek and destroy. Who knows what that is? That's going to be an L where Zombie Land was last year. Kind of sounds like a maybe, maybe a version of uh, Survivor Die. Uh, could could be could be something. Seek and destroy. That's down in New York. I have so, no idea. But yeah. usually they do very large scale scare zones in in New York. So yeah. if you have any ideas about uh, about seek and destroy, other than the fact that our buddy Avion was that was his like nickname on the chainsaw. Yes, thing. it was. Yes, um, Avion. Uh, Eddie, Eddie, Eddie Eddie's never actually been like he's been represented at the event, but he's never been like his own thing. So it looks like Eddie might be getting its own scare zone. Uh, that's going to be over uh, in front of uh, I, I, I want to say disaster, but it's not disaster. It's fast and furious. Yeah. Well, uh, well, I actually that goes yeah. both ways. Actually, yes. yeah. And then we've got, the uh, yeah, so that could be neat. I mean, the Rob Zombie scare zone there last year was amazing. So that yeah, is a really cool, cool spot. A little bit of a kind of a choke point for, for that. But but that could be really, really uh, neat to look at right there. 
Uh, Kara What's says, up, Kara? can't wait to see you too. Awesome. Can't wait to see you. We can't wait to see everybody. Everybody. Every I always see person. everyone around the Halloween time. Yeah, That's is, usually when I see this everyone. This is like our family reunion. Yeah. 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 Between um, August and November. All right, then we got probably the scare zone that I'm most interested in because I completely missed this was Terra Quintus. I did so, too. Yeah, um, I missed that year. I did not get a chance to do that when when Halloween Horror Nights was over in Islands of Adventure. Mm -hmm. I did not get a chance to do that the Storyteller year. Uh, so I'm really excited about seeing that in um, in Central Park. Yeah, and then mm -hmm. uh, they always do something really cool. They would. They, I think that's. One of my favorite places for scare zones. They just use that space so well and that narrow kind of walkway right there. Uh, and then, interestingly enough, they've got Shudder. Shudder. Now, Shudder uh, is interesting. Yeah, yeah. So, Shudder, and I'll bring it up right here. Really? Yeah, Shudder. There we go. So, actually, I'm logged into my Shudder account here, and they've got all kinds of stuff they could do with this. So, they did... Um, this one kind of reminds me of uh, the... Face off when they did maybe yeah. kind of like a best of like best uh, of highlights huh. uh, best of Shutter kind of thing and there's all kinds of uh, Psycho Gorman I know this is a newer movie uh, that'll probably be represented there they've got all kinds of stuff the Mortuary Collection if you've seen that movie really really neat um, they got all kinds of original stuff the Shutter platform is just like. It's just so deep you can never like catch up on it. Yeah, I have Shutter too, but I don't know a lot of the stuff here. I mean the. Main things that I watched was um, Creep Show. Yeah, Creep, creep, creep show, show. Creep Show movie and the Creep Show TV series. Yeah. They've got uh, Blood Machine. Maniac Cops. I've heard of that. I just yeah. haven't seen it. So they've got all kinds of stuff. So if you if you have anything that's on Shutter mm. that you think would be really neat to stick in a scare zone, um, I think it will probably be Shutter original stuff or or maybe Shutter uh, things that came out on Shutter like like was it Mandy. Did you see that movie with Mandy? No. And Cage? The, oh, the ones that I I did watch were Sleepaway Camp. I okay. watched all three of them. So, well, Sleepaway <laughs> Camp is is not. It's on Shutter, That's, but I don't think it's yeah. like a Shutter exclusive. No, yeah. I yeah. think this is going to be stuff that was like made oh, like for Shutter. Shutter. Kind of like a Netflix yeah. ex exclusive. Kind gotcha. Of okay. So, like the Creep Show series, if it's going to be Creep Show, could be involved in Shutter. It, if it's not a house or a zone, it could be. So it could be. Maybe we maybe we get Halloween three and they they stick Creep Show to represent that in the uh, in the Shutter area. So I don't know. Could be neat. Just just some thoughts with that. Just some some thoughts with that one. Uh, shows. Uh, if you guys have any opinions on what you like to see in the Shutter Scare Zone, put that in here so we can see that. I'm gonna bring up the chat again. Terror Queen motorcycle was amazing. Shutter's movie Z would work. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I I'm I. I have a surface level knowledge of Shudder. Like I watch things when people tell me to watch them, but I'm not like in there like all the time looking yeah, for same, all the things. Same. But there are so many cool things on Shudder. Mm -hmm. uh, all right. So we got two shows. The Lagoon Show. Obviously, the Lagoon Show that we had at 29 was just absolutely that amazing. Was awesome. Um, oh, my goodness. It was so awesome. Such a great uh, a, a great place to meet up with people. Mm -hmm. A great place to uh, take a break for a moment, watch a really neat show. The projection effects, top notch. It was notch. incredible. Just the water effects and everything. The now music. They, if they do that for a 30th anniversary show, yeah. that would be epic. That yes. would be really cool to have. Uh, and then, of course, the Jack Sage shows. I've... Yeah, Jack Sage show. Yeah, so maybe another mm -hmm. version of Carnival of the Carnage. I know for the longest time on the speculation map, this was like a rest area. Uh, but I think now that more and more people are getting, you know, vaccinated or or I'm whatever, going maskless um, I think I th they'll have a, a show there. So somebody somebody call James and uh, get him Let's get him it. in that clown suit. Let's Maybe even Aaron, I guess. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know. Bring them so back. bring them all back because uh, the uh, the Carnage Returns, right? That was it. Sorry, my brain's not working today. That was it. Yeah, the Carnage Returns. Uh, if they have another updated version of that and just watching. Really cool uh, HHN icons go through rando people. Mm -hmm. That that works for me. I would be okay with that. Yep, glad the Lagoon shows back. Great work with that. Yep, yeah. So that that's this is really looking like a fun event, man. This, this is this is looking like a great uh, a map, though. I'm I'm really excited for all of this. Yep, especially Carrie. <clears throat> yep. So all right, so out of all the houses, which one are you looking forward to? Uh, welcome to Scary. Really? Mm -hmm. I'm a big fan of the Cary, Ohio references. Like the Cary, Ohio houses. Oh, I love it, yes. 
I think for me, I'm looking forward to the most. I think from a curiosity uh-huh. standpoint, from from for for the originals, I'm looking forward to the captured one, the HH and Icons captured. The original one is Carrie, um, and then the IP one is Haunting of Hill House. Yeah, mm-hmm. I, I know. I'm so... Oh, well, Haunting of Hill House and Beetlejuice, yeah, of course, because I, I, I didn't get a chance I'm to see I'm really Beetlejuice. torn between the two of those mm-hmm. because I really... I love Haunting Hill House, mm-hmm. and uh, it's just it's it's just an amazing, amazing series if you haven't watched it. Uh, and uh, I really want to walk through Beetlejuice. I'm probably going to – Beetlejuice will probably edge it out a little bit, yeah. but I'm really looking forward to both of those. But, yeah, definitely definitely Beetlejuice because it's going to be beautiful because I saw the YouTube video. Yeah. Uh, just like just like Ghostbusters was. You spoiled and then the Yeah, I did. And then The Haunting of Hill House because I know that's going to be an amazing house if it's done right. Cool. Like, it's going to be awesome. <clears throat> Very cool. Yeah. All right, well, uh, we're going to go and wrap this up because we got another show to prepare for that we're doing a little bit later uh, tonight. Uh, but we just wanted to do something real quick just to go through and uh, show off the speculation map. Thank you to Mark uh, Masterone for, from Thanks, Horror Night Nightmares for putting this together. Always a good time to see this updated. I know this is not the last version of this. Uh, I would imagine now that Velocicoaster is open, we'll probably start to get some uh, uh, actual announcements and uh, I'm really excited about this. So we'll probably do a we'll probably do a little broadcast for every single announcement that they do, um, and then uh, maybe do a dramatic reading. Yes, please. I love the, your dramatic of readings. The, that'll make a return uh, for this uh, this year. So if you've never ever witnessed one of my dramatic readings of They're one awesome. of those, uh, that'll really be are. really cool when we get the description <laughs> of those. But I'm really excited and. It's been a long time. Man. I'm I'm just really excited for an actual HHN event to come back. Yeah, again, a real one. You know, a real one because we were deprived of one last year and, and it sucked. And we haven't even like you know, there's going to be crazy merch. They're going to redo the the tribute store. Oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna blow my bank account again. Yep. So yeah, it's gonna be fun. Yep, and it's gonna be it's gonna be amazing. I'm just, I'm just gonna set up a payment plan with Universal. I know for the tribute I'm store. Gonna tie it into my mortgage. Just <laughs> roll it in there. Nice. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you all for tuning in for uh, you guys. for thirty minutes. Wow, that that went pretty quick. That's fun. And yeah, like uh, that. we'll be doing more of these. Uh, whatever platform you're watching on, please continue to follow and subscribe to us. We're on all the things. This is the plug part of this. Follow Hansi on all the things. Subscribe to us on YouTube. Listen to the podcast. Watch us on the different platforms. We do appreciate that. And uh, we're going to get ready for our next show at 8 o'clock tonight. we got Leonard Pickle, Legendary Hunter, and uh, we're going to talk to him about uh, the history of haunts, I, I guess. So, all right, we're going to go ahead and wrap this up. Thank you, everybody, for Thanks, watching. Guys. Appreciate you. Until next time, spook easy. As always, happy haunting. See you and in a few. And bye-bye. Bye.